Hello everyone, it's King J here again with another beginner guide. And now I'm going to be doing Dragonoff. Dragonoff is a character that I used to play in Tekken 7 casually. And I find him quite funny. He was very underwhelming in Tekken 7, but very, very strong in Tekken 8 right now. And I want to talk you through some stuff. I put some stuff down in the list here that I have. And yeah, I'm just going to walk you through some stuff that I think is really cool with the character. So yeah, let's get into it. And if you like and subscribe, make sure you lot do because there's so much content coming out on this channel for the next month or so. So let's get into it. Cool. So first things first, we're dragging off your... This character is very, very aggressive character. When you're playing this character, your main thing that you want to do is you want to make your opponent get scared, right? And this character here, running two. Chip damage and your plus six. Running two is forward, forward, forward two. If you're good at instant motion, you can always be in their face. I'll have a guide later on talking about how to do instant running moves. Um, not hard at all. You just have to tap really fast forward, forward, forward. Also as well, I would say down forward one, four is a very good move. Now, the reason why I say this is because usually in the Tekka match, you're trying to do 2-1, jab, jab. You're trying to get people to, get, to move and get annoyed, right? If they're patient, you want to try to fish for something. I think down forward 1-4 is definitely a very good move. So, yeah, you would want to do down forward 1-4 for counting. So, like, look. Because now you get a combo. Which is crazy. Because before, it never used to give you a full combo. So now, you could probably do, let's see this. Not that. And then you could continue on your combo. And again, you get some nice damage for this. So the stuff, the moves I did was down two while standing four, and then back one two. But I'll talk you through all the, all the stuff later on. So now, moving on. Another key move is down two. This is your go. Your very much go to low, because while you're doing like the running twos, you want to do down two as well to make people think, oh, is he gonna do a mid or is he gonna do a low? And yeah, with this, you're minus one, so that means they can respond with a, a kick, but you could either sidestep or you could do counter attack attack reversal. So he has uh, attack reversals, but I'll talk about that later on. I want to talk about frozen parries later on. So yeah, down two is a good move, good tool to have. If you get it on counter hit. So counter hit, you're plus 13. Down two, you're minus one, right? So you also have quarter circle forward four, which is his new mid move. And it's a heat engager, right? You also has uh, back, you could use back two. To annoy people or back one plus two this move here is really good because you are plus and it annoys people like you can literally do whatever you want you're fishing out for something so you could do this with running to this doesn't do any chip but it's just annoying And then obviously you got down two. So this will be your, this is your main game plan. Running to you. Back one plus two. Down two. Running to you, right? Then you mix it up with throws, which I'll talk about throws later on. He also has, uh, he also has two one. So like I said, you're going to be mixed up jab, two one. Could do two one into down forward as well. So you could do two, two one into down forward. You could do the quarter circle forward slide, which is kind of like, it's a sway stance so he has some few stuff again we'll talk about it after he also has down forward um so he has down one sorry this one which is again an, another mid for pressure and i feel like in this game you need the pressure because it's an aggressive game you can't be giving up pressure yeah like you need to be keeping the pressure right he has this move in power crush, which is called circle four three plus four. Now, let's stop it for blocking. The counter hit. So 
So it's step 27, right? So let me just go into the move list. So let me show you the stuff from Sneak Stance because this is very crucial. So Crouch Dash 1 is safe and it stuns you. So you get a combo afterwards. This is a launcher. This will give you a combo, but be careful because you can get punished. Cool Soccer for free is a slide. A cool so on counter, you get that. And that's the Heat Engager. And then Absorb LED attack. So there we go. It says absorb as well an attack to shift into knee snap assault. So yeah, so let me just do something. Let me just set it to controller because Oh sorry, defense. Record. Okay, cool. So he took a lot. So yeah, you would use the move like that, and it's only on normal hit. So like, if I stop, if I stop him, it's only on normal hit where it doesn't do that. But if I do it on counter hit, throws him onto the other side. So yeah, this move is good. I think it's a bit of a slow power crush, as you saw. It's pretty slow, but it's there nevertheless. You got full forward four as well. If you do, if you hit full forward four successfully, you get a crouch grab, and it doesn't need to be counter hit. As you saw, it wasn't counter hit. Look, even on counter hit, same thing. It's, it's guaranteed. It doesn't say on the marker, but yeah, it's a guaranteed, which I think is insane. You also have. Down back, down back 3 4. 3 plus 4, sorry. And it's plus. So you could probably, like I said, I would probably do down 2 after. Or you can go up. Let's see if you could, you could probably do stamp. There we go. He also has his evasive elbow in this game. Which also does it does instant tornado. Daddy has up forward four, which gives you a mini combo up forward four. This has been like from Tekken Tekken Five DR, so you get up forward four and then down three, down three one, down no up forward four down four one three. So that's a bit of a mouthful there. So that's the combo that you would get. You might be able to get some new stuff, but I. That's the, that's the combo that I know from Tekken 5 DR. And then, I just want to make sure, when your back is against the wall, you would want to start doing like stuff like the moves I told you before. Back 1 plus 2, down 2. You would want them to start moving and stuff like that. Because you'd want to hit them with back 4 free, right? So, let me just take you to the wall and show you exactly what I mean. So around this bit, they got nowhere to go, right? You're playing Dragon off their scared. You're sidewalking, left sidewalking, right, making sure that they're here. You'd want them to duck, right? Because you got throws, you got back one plus two, you got running two, you got down two, you gotta make them nervous, right? And they're gonna crack at some point. So you wanna get the wall splat, which is back four free. Right? That's what the aim of that wall pressure is. You want them to crack. So if you get this. You can re-splat them. And do this move. Four, forward, four. Uh, running four. But again, you'd have to do instant. And add, again, you'd have to know how to do that. So that's more on the intimate, intermediate level. So that's what people call an attack grab. So... I don't know if you can... Let's see if you can... So that does Tornado against the wall. So you can continue on your combo. Which is...
pretty nice. So another thing for my list as well. So I've done back four three to okay. So to confuse them, you do back four two one. So this is if they try if they try to duck the back four four three because back four three is mid high. You can duck highs. So if you want them to not duck highs, you would have to start confusing them with this. You know, and then try try to lay like the last hit back four two one, and that's how you start to trick them. And then I think lastly. I think that is it, you know. I think that is it in terms of all the other stuff. He also has 4-4-2-1-2. Four, four, two, this, this is a good noob strat for people that haven't played, like, you know, they're casually in there or at the lower rank level. I don't know how people will be for this one. So you can do 4-4-2, four, four, which is a splat move, but be careful, again, you can, you can be punished for this move. So I just want to show you the exact frames of how much it is. Minus 12, right. Now, you now could cancel by pressing one plus two, right? And you get this throw. When he's in heat, this is unbreakable. You can't break this throw. So you have to be careful. And again, like, people are not going to be expecting this at the lower or um, I'll say mid-level ranks. Like, you could kind of like, they might mistake it for this. See? So which is the running two. All right, now I'll say launches is down forward two while standing two, core circle forward two, core circle back two, or core circle forward one, right? That, that, this, one's, this one's more of a stun. He also has, let's take it off here, one free two, this launches. So if the second hit hits on counter hit, Guaranteed. The rest of it's guaranteed, right? So yeah, in terms of Dragon Off, Dragon Off is very annoying. Like in terms of enrage. Oh sorry, heat. So like if he does this, he now can do what he did in Tekken 7, which is the tackle, which is unbreakable. You can't break you can't break the tackle. You can only jump back. So you do this, you're running two, and then you press one plus two. And then you get an option of, I think it's a one break, two break, or one plus two break. He also deletes recover wealth if you choose the one plus three option. Right, so that's when you see that gray, gray screen effect happen, right? On top of that, uh, like I said, four, four, two, one plus two is unbreakable. Uh, also as well, he can do this when doing his heat smash. He can do the tackle when, when he does the heat smash. Look. So you press, also you press down back one plus two for it. And then you, you get the tackle, which is unbreakable again. So yeah, there's a Dragon. Dragon is a pretty cool character. Again, like I said, he's got a bunch of launchers to kind of get you scared. You don't want to get counter hit. So at high level, he's a very, very annoying character. And again, like, he can, he can dash from 4-3, but this is a new... I wouldn't really recommend even explaining this move to you, because again, I feel that's more on the intermediate side and, and for combos as well. But yeah, back 1-2 is is your tornado move to go to for combos. So like, say for example, you wanted to do something basic. Let's say, if, I say for example, do this, 2-1, back 1-2. Back 1-2 is your tornado move to go to. Or you can, if you're fancy, you could do forward free uh, dash. So you do forward free and then press down forward. So you could do something like that as well. It's entirely up to you. But yeah, I've told you the game plan. I hope you like, enjoy playing Dragon Off. Remember to subscribe if you like this type of content. Leave a comment in the comment section down below and the emojis as well. I like them. And we'll be on to the next video. Take it easy, everyone. Peace. All right, future King J, one more time. I keep doing this. I forgot to talk about the wall combo that he has that's new into the game. That is crazy. So he has a thing which is like running four. So like if you can do this. Down three, two, one plus two. You get this big damage. Now it's, I don't know how you're going to do it from running two. Oh, like that, I guess. 
But as a casual, this is going to be hard. So I'm just saying, if you do this, you could do it from Heat Engager because it runs for you. And then you get that big damage. So yeah, this character is looking crazy insane. So I hope you like enjoy this character.